I can give all three of these integrals a common category. They are nothing burger integrals. It looks like there is something tricky, but it's actually not. So, <coughs> let me talk about these. So what all of these have in common is that they're not a test of your integration skill. They're a test of your algebra skill. All of these can be either simplified or modified according to the rules of algebra that have nothing to do with differentiation or integration that will completely crack all of these integrals wide open. In fact, there are some expressions that you don't really see. For example, would you agree with me that you rarely see square root of e to the x? How come? Why doesn't this combination appear much? How come when you were doing your exercises in the lemma, how come you've never seen log of x to the sixth? Or log of e to the x? Even though what lemma does when it comes up with different permutations is try to do every function as a function of every other function. There's sine of cosine, sine of tan, exponential of tangent, tangent of exponential, square root of log, log, and so on, right? There's every possible pairing, but never these. And that's because these pairings really are really not pairings because some of the properties of these functions are such that this can be tremendously simplified. And I don't want to get into the review of algebra now. I'll just assume that you know it or it'll come back to you rapidly and just show you that you should always look for this sort of simplification before you proceed with integration. So judge the expression on its algebraic merit first before you think about its calculus properties. So this is exactly right. Log of x to the sixth, the log, any log, has the property that whatever the power is, <coughs> it can just come out outside of the log as a multiplicative power. So I'm not going to do anything for this integral other than write down the answer because we've already considered what's left, but let me just tell you what it is. So 6 comes out, and you have log of x divided by x. 1 over x is, of course, the derivative of log of x. So we basically have log times the derivative of log. We know what that is, u, u prime. It's 1 half u squared over 2. So I wish I didn't even have to say that. So it's 6 times 1 half, which is 3. And then it's log squared of x. Same thing here. Log of a product is the sum of logs. The two rules are really the same thing. So this is log of 5 divided by x plus log of x divided by x. That's what that is. I'll just write it in, in green. Log of 5 divided by x. Now log of 5 is just the multiplicative constant. It doesn't change anything. And then, then we just have the derivative of log. So, and you can actually recombine this back into log of 5x, okay? Plus log of x divided by x, and that we just did it just a moment ago. This one is actually the most fundamental of them all, because square root, if you convert it to a fractional power, is to the power of one half. So we have e to the x to the power of one half. So that's just e to x over two. And that is why you never see e to the x under the, under the radical, because it's just e to the x over two, and everybody in their right mind would of course write it like this. And so, and you understand where this two comes from, right? Because if you had just guessed e to the x over 2 and took the derivative, it would be e to the x over 2 divided by 2 by the chain rule. And we don't have that 1 half here, so you have to make up for it with 2. Okay? So this really has nothing to do with the square root function. It's just a straightforward exponential. And this is almost a joke, because by the definition of log, log of e to the 5x is 5x. That's the very definition of log. So this is the integral of 5x. So watch out for this kind of thing. You will actually not find it on lemma because lemma takes care not to present you with ugly problems. 
right? These are ugly expressions. A mathematician cannot look at this and be okay with it. If somebody did rewrite it in this form, then it's just illiterate. This is okay. So that could occur. This is okay. And by the way, if this was 5x plus 2 in parentheses, then the whole thing goes out the window, and you have to work hard for it. Because you can't do this, what we just did. Right? That's another thing that you would never ever see. You, would, you will always see 6 log x. You just won't see it in this form. It's illiterate. 